Uh, all right, we are at a place where, I mean, everything from brass to glass, from tiny to huge, they do it all here. MGA Sculpture Studio, two wonderful artists, one big warehouse, gonna tell you all about it, what all they do, where all they do it. It's gonna be a good day, Tampa Bay, despite the weather. Stick around. Let us check in with Charlie Belcher this morning. Hey, Charlie. Dave, I have a fish tail for you. Oh! A fish tail. Actually, an eight pound stainless steel fish. You put 600, 600 of them together, and you get that one really cool, big, heavy piece of art. Stick around, I'm gonna take you to MGA Sculpture Studio and show you how and why they do stuff like this. Yeah, we are in St. Petersburg today at the MGA Sculpture Studio. I want you to meet Mark and Catherine. Anything you see here, maybe made of metal or sculpted, would that be you, Mark? Uh, yes, well, both of us make things, but... Uh... And then, well, anything that you see that's glass... Right, glass like, and metal. Like this over here, oh, yeah. glass and metal, would be yeah. Catherine. I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, accurately I define know. you and put you, into, put you into special descriptions. But really, you, you guys both uh, work on a lot of uh, wonderful uh, art here. Yeah? Yep. MGA Studio. And what, do you have a different... C yeah, a C Glass Studio. The letter C, the word glass, the word studio. So C Glass Studio, yeah. MGA Studio, but all under one roof here. That's yep. right. Uh, and then uh, Honor the Dog. Oh, yeah? For no particular reason, but she's the mascot and she's, she's beautiful. <laughs> uh, all right, now, but you're not just Girl. necessarily making art for art's sake to impress yourselves and and sell to your friends. Uh, you're doing art that, that is actually sold all over mm -hmm. the, the world. Mm -hmm. Mark, tell me, tell me what you're doing here. Well, what, the way we refer to it often is uh, commission sculpture. So a uh, client, usually like architects, developers, designers, um, and the ambitious uh, resident, private, um, collector. Will, private collector, will hire us to make an object for them. May, they'll either come to us with a space and we'll come up with an idea and fabricate it here, or they, come, c they can come to us with an idea. Catherine does a lot of public art as well. It, it, one of the examples is the stainless steel fish here, that the eight pound stainless steel fish, and you put them all together, mm -hmm. and it's that huge sculpture that looks like what, out, out in front of a, a shopping center or something? In yes, Reno. that's in Reno, Nevada. Uh, and uh, Catherine, and, uh, the glass, and, and what, where, where does it go? Who buys it? Well, here's also in uh, one of the Reno developments, that tower there. This one was for uh, their sister project in Kansas City. That's a 24-foot tall glass tower, two panes of glass, uh, and it represents the state song of Kansas, Home on the Range. And you can see the deers and the antelope playing. Some of the lyrics are etched in it. So it's a song made three-dimensional, which is just kind of cool. That is very yeah. cool. So, yeah. and Mark, you guys deal with the, the tiny to the humongous that takes huge cranes to put them in place. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's that's exciting. That's yeah. neat. So all morning long, we're, we're, we're going to give you an idea first of what they do. Now we'll see how you do it. You're working on a, on a huge project for... Bradenton. For Bradenton. Mm -hmm. We'll see some of uh, how you make molds and create some of your sculptures. Cool. And we'll see uh, how you do your glass stuff. Fabulous. Good. Anna, that okay with you? Wolf. Yes, that's okay with her. All right. Stick around, everybody. It's going to be a good day, Tampa Bay. Beware of the weather. We leave you now with a look at Sky Tower Radar. And Charlie Belcher unleashing his creativity in St. Pete. Hey! Hey! Release the Kraken of creativity. <laughs> yes, this is a model of what's going to be a giant, beautiful sculpture in Bradenton, and there they are working on it. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be big. Going to tell you all about it when Good Day Tampa Bay continues from MGA Sculpture Studio in St. Petersburg. And when we come back after the break, Charlie Belcher takes us to a place that makes your ideas a reality. But right now we're at uh, MGA, right? MGA, MGA. Studio and C Glass, and C -Glass, C -Glass Studio, Studio that's for right. Catherine. I want to leave her out. Uh, Mark's uh, got the, the MGA Studio. Catherine's got the C Glass Studio. They come together to make huge projects like this. This is the model, yeah. not actual size. No. But let's talk, tell me about this project, guys. This is for the Village of the Arts in Bradenton, and uh, it's inspired by the iconic butterfly and chrysalis shapes. So this is the chrysalis, and the idea is that it's shooting wings of color into the Bradenton Art Village. Very we cool. chose this. Thank you. We chose this color palette based on the colors that the houses in the village are painted. So those are actual homes in the village, and it's supposed to look like this uh, sculpture is just shooting the color into the village, and these are wings of color. That's very neat. Thank you. They'll also be attached to light poles going down the street. So it'll look like it came off the sculpture and then that they continue down the street with the wings on the light poles. So Mark, what's all this going to be made out of? 
Um, we've got a combination of uh, regular mild steel and then this portion down here will all be stainless steel left untreated and then the top portion will all be water jet cut aluminum panels that will be powder coated with this color palette. And so here, this is it, this is that's actually it. it, right? That's it. That's yeah. that's the piece in construction. Jason, don't step on Anna. Uh, Anna's, down, Anna's down here. Just she's the mascot. So <laughs> check everything out. Uh, so so this will be the the chrysalis part down here. That's right. This that's will be the, all stainless steel. That's right. That's a fretwork. This pole supports it, yeah. and then the fr uh, fretwork gets built around it with all these different poles of stainless steel and different diameters to get oh, cool. give it some visual interest. And then, and then uh, the, the wings. Part. You can see that's, that's an right. example of what the wings will look yep. like all we the way have up. To, we have to dry fit all the aluminum wings so we know where they're going to go. Then they'll get removed, taken back. Out and then sent out to powder coat it and then put back on. And we talk about how there's, there's two artists in this one warehouse, but obviously there's a bunch of artists in here. <laughs> yes, there are. Uh, Absolutely. You want to give these guys Absolutely. a little credit right here? Absolutely. This is uh, Salvador St. Germain. He is my apprentice, and this is Chris Padau. And it, he's been working in sculpture for many, many years and been helping me out. Because obviously you, you can't do something on this no. scale by yourself. No. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Especially a project to this scale. We've got engineering requirements. It goes outside in public, so we have to meet wind code requirements that? and all yeah, that sure. kind of thing. So all we get an codes. engineer involved and we have to fabricate to those specifications. Yeah. Uh, when is this going to be in place in Bradenton? Oh, gosh. We're shooting for what, February? Or, or Jan January, February, January, February, February, February in that, February. In that February. window. Okay. That's you don't have a hard deadline. You have a hopefully around then kind of deadline. Exactly. 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 Uh, and uh, and so tell me exactly where that is so people can who aren't familiar with the Bradenton area. Do you know the intersection? I don't know the intersection. I'm <laughs> terrible. I know it's near Manatee Graphics. It's okay. It's a t-shirt shop there. All right. It's on a nice Good street. enough. Well, that's yeah. just the thing. Now you just get close. You'll be able to know where it is exactly. because you'll be able to see this for a while. <laughs> All right. Excellent. Now they, everything they do here isn't so huge. They also work in. A, a smaller stuff. They make their own molds here. We're going to show you how they do that in the next half hour. And then we'll uh, go into some sea glass studio with Catherine and see how she does her beautiful glass. But for now, uh, I think Anna's got the right idea. That is with the, so that cute. weather, With that weather moving through, I think you, if you can do this at home, just do this and wait till the weather's moved through. Well, Sorry, that bothered you. Oh, see, there you go. Wake the, the dog up. But it's a cute dog. dog. Let <laughs> sleeping dogs lie. Um, <clears throat> You, you want to make something like this? Well, you, you got to sculpt it, and then you got to make a mold, and then you got to pour it. It is a big process at MGA Sculpture Studio. They'll do that. They're making molds, but we're not going to break the mold. We're going to show you how they do it when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. Good Day Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher. We're in St. Petersburg this morning. MGA Studios. Mark is the man with the plan here. Uh, we're talking about making molds and creating sculptures and market. It, oh, does it always start with a drawing? Yeah, we start out with a drawing. We got an idea. We put it down in two dimensions. This one's an actual scale. And then we uh, bring it up in three dimensions. This gives you an idea of how, how we pull the idea together. I've seen um, uh, like, uh, what they call it, a maquette? Or is it? Yeah, yeah. A maquette is like a model. I think maquette may be French for a model. OK, and, and cause sometimes when you, when you buy, uh, I buy a lot of Superman statues. <laughs> but then you get the maquette, means that's the original. It's like miniature. Yeah, yeah, the original that they then would make uh, many from. Absolutely. So and that's kind of what that is. Yeah, yeah. So then we take a mold off of this, which is what we've got right here, and we're going to be um, pouring this shortly here. We've got a little heat sink in here to get our wax. So you would put you put stuff around this to create a mold, a, a negative yeah. image yeah. of this. We in this particular mold, we uh, put a box around it, which is actually this box here, and then we fill that void with silicone, which is a catalyzed material. It starts out as a liquid, and then the catalyst in it makes it hard and turns it into a solid. So then the negative space it left is the, is the mold for the sculpture. Yep. So we're getting ready to pour this one here. How do wax we look, Sal? So? Wax is ready. All right, let's go ahead and tip it forward a little bit. We've got a little bit of an air bubble issue in the chin on this one, so we're going to tip it forward here. And that's just, we is pour. that hot wax you're pouring This on? is hot wax, yeah. That's why I've got the apron on. And Mark, what is this for? Um, this is this piece will be cast in bronze, and this is a series of figures that I'm doing just for fun, for playing around. Oh, and cool. uh, 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 just to have. Just to do it. This one's just to and have. And this, this is what, uh, this is what right, they're working on. You, you had a little chin issue. With her right there, you can see a little nose issue right there. But this one, I think this one turned out. That other one's a good pour. Oh, yes, yeah, like kind of trial and error there. And this is what it would look like. And you control the colors with the wax. 
Um, well, yeah, and the different different waxes or different colors. The the first one there is a different wax combination, and every every mold has its own challenges and problems. This is the first couple times we poured this one. We get the bugs worked out, and then we're ready to go. And it's not always out of wax. We showed this fish earlier, which was stainless steel, and this shows you how it's hollow in the inside. There same kind of came, like same kind of concept. Um, yes. Well, once we uh, like like this piece, we make a pattern. Um, this is carved out of a urethane foam, and then we um, take a mold off that, which is what we've got right here. Then we can cast all kinds of mediums into that. If it's going to go to bronze, then we'll make a wax like we're doing here. The wax goes into an investment at the foundry, and then they melt out the wax, and then they cast into bronze, which is what we've got right here. Oh, cool. Um, like this turtle is, is cast in the exact same way, and he's bronze right now. So, let, so you got a fish in there? We got a fish in here. We're going to pull out for you, show you kind of how uh, the demolding process works. This is a roto cast, so we take this uh, piece and we pour a plastic into it, and then once that plastic hardens up, then we can oh, look at that. pop it out. And what is that? So what's that made out of, that fish? This is a urethane material. Very cool. So you can Same thing that we've got right here, and then this is a, a, a buddy of mine who has a paint company called Spectrochrome, and he does this beautiful um, colored chrome finishes. So we can do Very all cool. sorts of wild finishes Excellent. and surfaces depending on what you want to do. Awesome. When we come back, we're going to go to Sea Glass Studio and see Catherine, what she does with glass. We'll leave you now with one more look at Sky Tower Radar. Uh, look at these beautiful, <laughs> these beautiful uh, glass pieces. So gorgeous. The light just bounces right out of them. Stick around. I'm going to take you into Sea Glass Studio and show you how Catherine makes these beautiful works of art when Good Day Tampa Bay continues. Good day, Tampa Bay. I'm Charlie Belcher coming to you from St. Petersburg inside Sea Glass Studio. You ever have the feeling that you're being watched? Yeah, sometimes I get that feeling. Sal, turning the cameras on us. All right. Still, I had that feeling I was being watched. Um, Catherine is here. It is her Sea Glass Studio. Sea yeah. Glass? Yeah. Uh, all right, Catherine. Uh, th these are beautiful. I don't think Thank I've ever you. seen anything quite like this. How do you do it's it? It's different. It, well, it's fused glass, which means it's heated in a kiln. And you start with a, what they call compatible glass, because not all glass can melt together. It has to be the same coefficient. So this is your uh, raw material? That's then? correct. And you cut it. Bam, bam. Use this to break it, like so. And then you can put these together. And the things that you can cut by hand, you can get industrial cut. That's how I get these done. You cannot cut that style by hand. You have to get it done by So a... you will take this yes. and say this, and you stack it together, you put it yeah. in a kiln, yeah. and then it starts to get a little thicker, and then it becomes yes. more pieces like this. Exactly. Now that's two layers of glass. And, and then you get that you nice them? rounded edge. You can do all kinds of things with them. That's what when I, you start stacking and... You start and stacking and making different color combinations because glass does things that other colors don't do. Like you put colors on top, you get that. Look at that. From here, you put the lavender and yellow on top, you get that. Look at that. I, just, I know. I, Isn't is that amazing? That up, Jason? Yeah. Uh -huh. Look at that. And no, you that can't get that just... in paint. You can't get that in light. It's only in glass that glass so the color acts that, that way. And like how many layers is something That's like that? That's a lot. Look at the side of that. See, you can actually oh, see the layers. Go. So one, two, three, four, five. I think that's six. Six and layers to get back. Into back. The kiln, back into back the kiln. Into, back yeah, into the no, kiln. this is actually one. Well, if you just want it th this oh, thickness. Oh, you just stack them all yeah. up and put it in once. All but right, yeah, have, yeah, that makes that sense. Something that thick, you have to dam up the sides. Otherwise, it'll all get this flat. Glass wants to live this thick. So if I stack seven layers and I put it in the kiln and didn't dam it up, it would get this thick. It would just get wide. Oh, okay. Isn't that wild? And then they end up these these gorgeous pieces. Yeah, look, thank you. Is that a... That's a bowl. That's a bowl. Yeah. And are, are these aren't the individual? Are these the individual layers there? They are, oh, that's and you can see incredible. from the. I'm trying to think if you can see the side. This is two layers, and it's all about how you overlap the colors to get the colors you want. So, uh, can you give me an idea of what something like this would cost to to purchase? Yeah, sure. Let's see. There's these bowls because the glass is expensive, the processes are expensive. That's about a four hundred dollar bowl. Oh, very cool. And, like, and, and would, would so, these just be wall pieces? And they would put be a light wall behind pieces. Them? Absolutely. Give me a range yeah. from what to what. Like oh gosh, depending like a, a thousand to four thousand. Oh wow. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. it's a, a lot of work. Goes it's into a it. lot of work. It's a lot of uh, hands-on time, and it's uh, the material is expensive as well. And you can turn some of this into the large-scale things Absolutely. that you work with Mark. And yeah. Is that, that's an example of, uh, is that all glass that we're this seeing This is there? not glass, no. And that's, okay. and that's a comp. That's, this is glass. That's in a shopping center in St. Louis. And oh, I also, yeah. I also have one at the PSTA, the Suncoast, uh, Palo Suncoat Transit Authority. Yeah. And oh, their lobby right. window, yeah. That's gorgeous. I yeah. just think so. That, that would just, 
That is just so cool. Thank Put you so much. Put that with a light behind it. That is yeah. really neat. Yeah. All right, so for more information mm -hmm. on everything that Catherine does and everything that Mark does, we met him earlier, go to <laughs> My Fox Tampa Bay. We're not going to tell you about what Sal really does. Uh, but go, go to MyFoxTampaBay.com, and we will have links both to Catherine's website about Sea Glass Studio and Mark's website at MGA Studio. They really do incredible stuff. It's worth uh, working the fingers and, and checking it out. And? Can you believe she can do all that with just glass? I it's it. beautiful. Let it's have her, gorgeous. If that one goes on, if that bowl goes on sale, have her give me a call because that all I right. love that.